And Brian was smart. He realized at that time that he is Marilyn Manson and Brian Warner. He could separate the two. He didn't have to be Marilyn Manson 24 hours a day like I was doing. I did all the drugs, slept with, you know, whatever, men, women, animals. I was living the image. You know, I was Gidget Geen. Brad overdosed one night after a show, and Brian called me like 8 o'clock in the morning, upset that his friend might die. Brian talks me into going to rehab. He's on the verge of tears. I'm feeling really bad, you know, that I let this guy down. I get a FedEx two days later. It's a letter from the lawyers, the managers. Basically, I got fired on Christmas Eve in rehab. You either pull your way or you'll be left behind. And unfortunately, didn't live up to Manson's expectations. When Brian had to finally kick Brad out of the band, it was very difficult for him because he really did care about him a lot. You know, I still love the guy, and it hurts to know that I, I did that when they, like, depended on me.